So we're reaching the final few games of the season and what a season this has been in Border Adventures. We started off in Lille, our first full campaign in charge. Little did we know we wouldn't make it to the end of that campaign. We were second in the table when we got knocked out of the French Cup at the quarterfinal stage and were fired by the board. Fortunately, we washed up in Rotterdam at Feyenoord. We've navigated our way to a European final. Tonight we're taking on Mainz. And you'd like to have your strongest team out and all of the players fighting fit and raring to go. Do we have that luxury? We absolutely do not. And this is why we are the walking wounded. Since we beat Ghent out in Belgium to qualify for this final, we've had three games in very quick succession against our city rival Sparta, the first of them was the final day of the Eredivisie season and we made really light work of them. We were 3-0 up before they scored in injury time. So when we drew them in the playoffs for the European places, we had a strategy because we noticed that the Mainz game would be taking place just a few days after the second leg of our playoff with Sparta. So we thought we'd front load our team, go out, get the tie won in the first leg. We'd beaten them so easily a few days earlier. It sounded like a shrewd strategy. Except the boys then went to Sparta in the first leg and conceded a 94th minute goal, a header from an indirect free kick. And we were up against it and having to play our strongest players again in the second leg to try and qualify us for a playoff final to see if we can get into the Europa League. Looks like we did it pretty comfortably. We did not, we did not score the goal to level the tie until the 91st minute. We had to go into extra time to try and find a winner. How we didn't win this tie earlier, I have no idea. Sparta only had one shot the entire game. We had 33, 19 of them on target. So to not find that equaliser until the 91st minute, well, it was a pretty nervy occasion, but we're through. We're playing Heronveyen now in a European places final. That is, of course, over two legs as well. They like to drag things out in the area divisi, but it means we have got some very tired legs and some players that are going to miss out on today's game against Mainz. The guy that scored the winning goal for us in that extra time against Sparta, Stephen Dora, well, his condition is down to 69%. Well, the other players aren't great either, so he may well come off the bench for today's game, but we've got players like the Hall down at 80, Van der Moylen down at 80. We are not looking fresh. And we are not going into this Mites game with any great confidence. We're switching back to our more cautious tactic because we think we might be up against it a little bit against Mites. We're going to get out there. This is a big game for us. This is a European trophy. Granted, it's not the Champions League. It's not even the Europa League. But, well, a win in Europe is not to be sniffed at. More bad news, though, we're wearing that away kit today. So you're going to get to see that colour clash in action. We're going to ask the boys to go out there and impress. They didn't really like that. So let's tell them that we've got faith. And we'll go out and we will get the game started. Mainz, we've had a look. They are pretty fresh. They've had a nice gap since the end of their league campaign. They'll have trained well. We've barely trained at all. It's all been recovery work. And I think you can see from the early possession, well, Mainz could well be dominating this game. This looks like the kind of game where we're looking to try and win 1-0 with a set-piece goal, I think. We've not had a single shot yet. Never mind one on target. Romero, who's one of our players that is the freshest, is already carrying a knock. And now Mainz have got a free kick. And they have nodded their first highlight of the game over the bar. They've got some pretty bad body language, Mainz. But we have not even had a shot. Looks like we got one right on the edge of half time there. That is an absolute dreadful performance. And I think we need to make a substitution. And I think we need to switch to Morton Harkett straight away. And I think we are going to have to bring on an incredibly tired Dora the Explorer 
I mean, he is coming on with good match sharpness, but condition of 69. He's still out for four days with a twisted ankle. He's going to have to play on one leg for this, I'm afraid. And we're going to get out there for the second half, and we're immediately going to say that we want more from the players because that first half was terrible. And there is that kit. Two different shades of blue, some banana-ish socks. Very lively. Not sure I am a fan. But I'm a fan of having a highlight. And here is Van der Moylen. And he is through. And he has ridden the challenge. And then barely made contact with the ball before it trickles back to their keeper. Not really showing his best on the big stage there. We've got some poor performances from Van der Hayden's playing badly. Van der Moylen's playing badly. We've got a highlight again. They've got a goal kick. And they're on the ball. We need a winner here. Oh, that is an absolute horror challenge. Van der Hayden, the big man, has got a straight red for a two-footed waist-high lunge. And that puts us in all kinds of problem. Why always in the big games? Okay, we're not going to play with two playmakers there. You're actually just going to be a ball-winning midfielder. Okay, that's probably as good as we can do. We're going to try and make another change as well. Uh, Vahoyle, oh, he is an important player for us, but he can barely walk. We're going to swap him with Spierdoik. He's not a terrible player. He's not as good as the player he's replacing, though. We've at least come with some shots in the second half. Seven on target. Although, that is a little bit lucky, isn't it? And do you know what? If we go to extra time again, we might have to bring out the defibrillators for some of these boys. They're never going to make it through an extra time period. Maybe they won't have to. Corner time. Oh, no, it's going to be their highlight on the counter-attack, isn't it? No, oh, our attacking corner. Get back. Don't get sent off. Oh, he's gone in and missed. Oh, don't allow the long shot. Close him down. Close him down. Get out there. Good. Maybe it's our highlight. We're on the attack. Speardike, the substitute. He's got men with him. Give it to someone. Bremer. Yes! 85th minute. Frankie Bremer. Oh, Excellent, excellent. Let's drop that down to balanced. Let's lower that line. Let's even lay off them a little bit. Good, 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 good. Too early for some time wasting? Absolutely not. Oh, Bremer. Wanted by a few clubs, Manchester United amongst them. We are not letting him go. If we are being judged on playing players that have come through the academy, Bremer is one of the ones we want to keep. Even if he's a bit grumpy about it, he's got four years left on his contract. The man goes nowhere. We need to get our final tired legs off. Abe van der Moylen. Nobody really wants to go and play over on the left wing. So we will ask Frank Ganyu to just go out there and do a job. We're also going to put the extra time wasting on. We're close. This could be anybody's highlight. It's our free kick. Oh, their goal has claimed it. This could be the counter. Plenty of time left for them. Three and a half minutes left. We need a winner. We got one. Akabil to Dora. He's gone. It's Brems again. Seal it. He sealed it. What a striker this man is. He can play wide on the right. He can play as that advanced forward. Oh, he can finish as well. Look at his off the ball movement. Gets behind the centre half. He's cool. He slots it past the keeper. We're 2-0 up. And I think we're about to win a European trophy. We might even please the board. Surely it's too late, even if we concede, isn't it? Come on, win the ball. Get out there and win the ball. We've done this with 10 men as well. Oh, hang on. Hang on, maybe we haven't. 
Maybe we have spoken too soon. What have they got? 50 seconds? Didn't close them down. They've got a man over. They've got fullbacks flying up the pitch. Our goalie, one of the best in the world. Looked like his starting position was a bit off to me. But we have seen it out and some pretty ugly confetti is falling. They're all jumping around. Are we giving the guy that got sent off a winner's medal for that? I'm sure he deserved it. He detracted from the performance, really. Ten shots, ten on target. I'm almost going to say we deserved it, considering we only had one shot during the entire first half. Let's passionately say, enjoy the success, lads. We've got a trophy. Is the board going to be happy with that? I think they are. We've got a little bit of money in as well. The board are happy, finally. We've done something that has pleased the hierarchy of a club. Fabulous. I'd like to end the season there. But I don't think we are. We've still got two games to go. We're going to have to try and patch this squad back together and go again in, what, four days' time against Heronvane. And in a week, we're going to be back for the second leg of our Eredivisie Euro Places qualifier.